way you've been living Life's so reckless, tragedy and this Welcome to the family hey. Alright, so hey guys, it's Chris Um, uh, I've been busy lately, sorry about the no videos Hit the 4th of July all that, um, so I've been really busy lately, um, doing a bunch of different crap, um, well, not a lot of stuff, kind of the same thing over and over because, just, I don't know, but, um, well, my iPod got stolen, so I was trying to figure out who took that, but that did not work, so I gotta get a new one. Um, yeah, but, um, so I gotta get a new iPod, um, so I'm back to my shitty old camera for videotaping, well, for videoing. Hey, this is my brother's desk, just so you know, it's all kidsy. <laughs> Alright, but, um, so, yeah, um, I've been doing a lot of fishing, uh, me, my friend Steve, and uh, my my girlfriend's been joining us a lot, and you know, like going fishing with us a lot. Um, so you know, I've been pretty busy lately. You know, I've been leaving at about four o'clock in the morning because I don't know she wants to go then, and Steve just kind of shows up. <laughs> I will call him up. Uh, but so um, I guess I'll do a quick update for you. I caught a snapping turtle, I had the video on my iPod, and I lost, well, somebody stole the iPod, so, sorry about that, I'll have to catch another one for you guys, but, um, we were catching catfish like crazy, but, um, so I'm gonna show you, on uh, the new tank, this is the 20 long that the turtles used to be in there in the pond now, so I got the beardy in here, and then I got the... Uh, dwarf iguana thing who broke his tail. Um, but yeah, we got the Pac Man frog, the crickets. So, um, I think my brother's home. Yeah, my brother's home. So, um, alright, so I got the Pac Man frog here. I don't know where he is, he's in here somewhere. Um, Oh, he's not in his burrow. Oh, usually he's burrowed in one spot. I gotta find him. He's probably under the cave. Yep, there he is. Right there. Right there. Right, um, sadly the one died, so we had to get a new one. Uh, about a month ago, I think. Yeah, I forgot to put that in the video, but um, my brother changed the other one's name to Mint, so. He died, so then I just bought one. I named it Cannibal because he eats everything compared to the other one. Right, but, um, so I got crickets. Nice crickets. Little crickets. All big crickets and all that stuff. So, um. Alright, so, um. I have to set down the camera really quick. So I can put back the Pac Man tank. And you're probably thinking, what did I do with the bearded dragon tank? Well, the, oh, the juvenile bearded dragon tank, the 10 gallon. I got a bearded dragon. Right, um, so I have the bigger one in here. And now I got a baby. A little baby bearded dragon. Oh, he's got some mealworms in there. His hide made out of a soup worm thing. Food bowl made oh, was lettuce bowl made out of soup warm top and then a water bowl. I'm using rep the carpet, a big basking rock. But there he is. Using a 60 watt, I think, maybe a 70 watt. Uh, 75 watt, I mean, I think it is. I think this might be a 75 watt, I don't know. But um, I know that what's in here is a 75 watt. That might be a 75 watt, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I got a little baby bearded dragon. He's a male. Um, this is a female. So I'm gonna breed them sometime. Um, 
Alright, so I'm going to show you my plans I got. Alright, so... I'm working on drawing what's going to be in them. But, um... So, these are my plans that I'm working on. Um, at my grandma's house, my room's 13 and a half feet long. Uh, well, wide or whatever you want to say. Um, so... This is my plans. I got... That's the chameleon cage. That is for a rough green snake, my first snake. Um, that's for some tiger barbs, that's for exodon piranhas, um, that's for I believe gold dust day geckos, or, um, alligator snapping turtle, hatchling cages, and then that's gargoyle geckos, bearded dragons, like a bunch of them, you know, like morphs and all that. Three morphs, so a normal, translucent, and a red Italian mother back. Then I got electric blue day geckos and uh, what's that other one called? Um, Yellowhead day geckos, the dwarf geckos, um, then baby beardies. Then I got crested gecko cages, like adult crested gecko cages. So, um, oh, and this is for a tiger salamander that's for two axolotls and then this is for a wolf fish yeah, badass um so this is all the animals that I'm gonna have so this is all of them uh, like so I got all this crap here okay, so um, I got a lot of shit on here oh, I'm sorry about me swearing and all that, but um, I got a lot of stuff, like I got, alright, the two axolotls, um, are gonna be, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 the 29 gallon is for a rough green snake and the dwarf geckos, I'm just gonna put, like, a divider in between it so it, it can't attack each other, but just so, like, it's tall, the 20 gallon tall is for the wolf fish. Alright, that makes more sense now. I knew I was doing something wrong. Alright, so, um, so I'm at Baby Beardies. I got Red Crested Gecko, Tiger Crested Gecko, Red Bicolor Crested Gecko, Partial Pinstripe Crested Gecko, uh, Harley, the Red Harlequin Crested Gecko, and then a Dalmatian Crested Gecko. And then the 12 by 12 by 18, I'm gonna have Baby Crested Geckos. Make a bunch of babies. Um, and then 50 gallon, I got the bearded dragons, like adult bearded dragons, which is normal. Um, translucent and red Italian leatherback. And then I got baby electric blues, more baby electric blues, uh, baby yellow heads, baby gold dusts, baby gargoyles, more baby gargoyles. Um, and the rough green snake and the dwarf geckos, but I'm just going to divide that tank down the middle and silicone in that piece. Um, a barred tiger salamander. I got a book that'll show you what that looks like. It's kind of, it's just like a more patterned tiger salamander. Oh wow, this video is getting long. Um, <laughs> and I just realized this video is almost eight and a half minutes long, so I'm going to have to kind of hurry up, but um, yeah, I want to show you this because this is actually really cool. Um, here, first I'll show you the snake I'm getting. Most of you have probably already seen it. I uh, might get a water moccasin. I don't know. Oh, here we go. A rough green snake. Um, right there. Right there. The big one here. Um, there you go. It's a lot greener and more. Like, not looking at it in a book. Um, but, you know, I'm going to try to find the tiger salamander for you guys. Oh, here it is. Tiger salamander. Barred tiger salamander. Um, that's a normal tiger. And there's a barred. I might get both. I don't know. Um, and a marbled. Alright, um, <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, back to the thing. Um, so the, oh, wow, no, it's nine and a half. That makes sense. It was a quick half a minute. Oh, quick minute. Um, so then I got the green fluorescent protein albino axolotl, which is like the glow in the dark or whatever thing. Um, and then I got the leucistic axolotl. And you can 
and this camera sucks. Right, um, red wolf fish, alligator snapper, the axodons, axodons, um, tiger barbs, gold dust day geckos, gargoyle geckos, um, then the uh, red gargoyle gecko and the striped gargoyle gecko, and then the veiled chameleon. Right, well, sorry about this video. It's kind of boring, but um, yeah, I got a new edition though, so that's good. Um, got this new book, but it came kind of destroyed, so I'm gonna have to call them back. Um, okay. freshwater fish and river creatures. Um, it's pretty cool. Actually, you know, like it's got all this crap in it. Like, that's how I got the idea for the red wolf fish and the um alligator snapper i knew that they existed it's just they look really cool so um yeah and the axolotls they are awesome so um so i guess i'll let you guys go um one more quick look at the dragon there he is all right well see you guys